Good evening, Capricorn ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. What I wanted to do is I'm going to just give you yet another bonus reading for you for your birthday period here. And today, uh, the topic that we that I like to discuss with you, basically we're going to be discussing solely your romantic situation and just to see what you can expect next, okay? And this reading is valid only until the end of this month here. If you're new to my channel, I certainly welcome you, all right? I certainly appreciate not only your viewership, but also your subscription here, okay? So Capricorn, this reading will not resonate for each and every one of you out there. However, I hope that the message that I impart to you at least uh, give you some food for thought here. Be sure to like and share if it does resonate with you guys, and for things that don't resonate, just let it fly, okay? So let's start off with just examining here your, uh, your uh, these oracle cards here that are showing here, okay? It certainly seems that from this point on into the end of this month, you certainly have somewhat like a, a twin flame type connection here. And I'm seeing that not only will your passion ignite, I'm also seeing that you're going to certainly start um, seeing a, your libido heightening, okay? Understand, Capricorn, that as you go through this time period, understand that emotions are certainly a natural and necessary part of life. But they can also distort your perception and really cloud your vision. And in order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment because I feel here that some of you are still hanging on to remnants from the past here. And you're going to have to deal with it because it's not going to go away of its own accord here. And you're going to be having to deal with it soon if you haven't already started here. Okay, I'm also feeling too with just looking at this message here that someone, I think that I'm feeling that with whom you are presently with, they're thinking about you at the very moment. And they want you to know that, you know, your love really fills them with light here. And they really love you. I'm also feeling that an ex is also thinking about you as well here. But you know the problems that you shared with this ex. And that's the reason why this person is an ex. So sometimes, guys, it's, all, it's not always good to keep going back to your past here. All right? So let's go on and get started with your reading here. Because really only what's important, ladies and gentlemen, is in fact your next step reading. All right? And what I'm using today is my after tarot deck today, all right? So let's start off by just getting the general impression of the energies that we have here, okay? I notice here that you don't have any wands here. Well, actually, yes, you do. You do have that there, okay? But I'm seeing that because you don't have any swords here in your reading, it clearly shows me that there is a lack of boundaries or stagnation that might be troublesome or even structure, okay? There also may be some boredom present within your relationship, and this boredom kind of leads to miscommunication, you know, arguments and things of that nature here, okay? I also feel that there is, seems to be extremely too much focus on money or the acquisition of money or the lack thereof here. It seems like you're placing extremely too much emphasis on that. Um, so much so that your spiritual life may not be, um, you may be just not really giving attention too much to your spiritual life because you're worrying so much about your finances or money here. All right? Let's start off by looking at the bottom energy. You have that nine of pentacles there. So with the nine of pentacles, certainly it represents an earth sign. Okay? Capricorn, Dork, Virgo, or Taurus. But clearly this card is Venus in Virgo. And this card is all about independence self-reliance as well as the success that you certainly deserve here so it shows that many of you do in fact like your independence and many of you you know i feel that many of you might need to make a decision here i'm getting okay because i feel that you have some of you it appears you already have caught a good catch in terms of a person here and you need to trust your instincts when it comes to this person before making any haphazard decisions because I see that there is an X returning here. Okay, so just don't make the wrong decision here. Okay, I also feel that your current situation seems to be a fortunate one and 
as I've indicated in your Russian reading, a surprise is um, kind of imminent and is coming forth to you, I'm getting. Okay? I feel that now, this could go vice versa. Either you're feeling that you hit the jackpot with the person with whom you're with or the person with whom you're with feel that way about you. It could be but vice versa, you know? I'm also getting two, ladies and gentlemen, that, you know, I think I may have mentioned that, but it looks like a new job is coming up for you guys. And I feel that some of you are, even in fact, it looks like you're even, in fact, wishing to hear from this ex or from this estranged lover I'm getting here. And you just might get your wish. It seems that you certainly will here because looking at your current situation, you have the Six of Cups, ladies and gentlemen. So with the Six of Cups, of course, it represents water signs. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Astrologically, the sun is in Scorpio. Okay, so here immediately you see that while an ex is going to return, ladies and gentlemen, others, I'm feeling, they're going to be trying to pursue you, too. You see other people here, right? They're going to try to pursue you, but you're going to be strangers, it appears here, all right? And I feel that many of you are, in fact, reminiscing about, you know, the good old days, right? So either you want to rekindle with a past lover, or you might want to work on injecting, ladies and gentlemen, more love and passion into an existing situation. Maybe you may be trying to, you remembering, you know, how things used to be in the past when you two were so much in love here, all right? So it seems, once again, that you will have to make a decision I'm getting, all right? So now let's look at a few things that may not be as important that you put your focus on from now until the end of this month here. We have the Queen of Wands. So with the Queen of Wands, that represents the fire signs, okay? Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So certainly, it's certainly not the time for you to be shy. It's definitely not the time for you to be complacent. And it damn sure ain't the time for you to be carried away or unrealistic or even wear rose-colored glasses when it comes to your situation or even to listen to this fiery-type temperament woman who might be offering you unneeded advice or unsolicited, okay? So now let's turn our attention to, ladies and gentlemen, what is in fact important in your situation. We have the two of pentacles there, okay? So that represents an earth sign, okay? Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And astrologically, how that is linked, it's linked to Jupiter, Jupiter and Capricorn, okay? So what's important now is... To not take someone seriously here because it appears that someone has an agenda and I can almost 100% assure you that is this ex here. Okay, someone has an agenda. You know, it's not important for you to appear to be flexible as you may have been in the past for someone or even uneasy or even attempt to even try to, ladies and gentlemen, indulge yourself without thinking about the result about the consequences of might occur with your decision, okay? So let's look and see what your likely outcome or what's next, if you will, that's suspected to kind of happen for you guys. Actually, I selected two cards here, both the King of Pentacles as well as the Chariot. So with that King of Pentacles, I usually connect that both to Earth as well as Air type signs here, so... Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Gemini, as well as Aquarius. So I feel that, you know, many of you will ultimately decide that you don't want this ex that's trying to resurface in your life after all, because I feel that despite the fact that some of you may have made some attempts or some efforts to try to deal with this person, this person is not going to please you, all right? This person still is going to continue to break promises with you because they have others elsewhere. So you have to really get to that to your head too, okay? However, I do feel though that if you are with someone in an existing situation, I feel that you will make some effort to strengthen this situation because this King of Pentacles shows you having a very secure, stable type environment here. So that's plausible, okay? 
And then combining that with that chariot there, of course, you know, the chariot is all about victory. It's all about a new beginning, ladies and gentlemen, and a willingness to really trust and to take a leap of faith with someone with whom you've been with for years. So again, you'll still um, have, I'm feeling a lot of suitors at you. So you're going to have to make a decision here, okay? You, you know, you have someone stable, then you should stay with that person, you know, and don't run back to an ex I'm getting here, all right? So I'm going to go on and just pull out, ladies and gentlemen, a few more decks here to try to give you some additional information into your situation here, okay? Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my moonology cards here all right so let's see spirit could you give us some additional information that capricorns to could use to their benefit what additional information could i tell capricorn regarding your situation here what additional information spirit You need to really try to make some effort, ladies and gentlemen, to really work through your feelings, to really figure out what it is that you want in the way of a relationship. And as you do this, ladies and gentlemen, try to be a bit more humble in your situation and with those, and with those involved. Release worry, ladies and gentlemen, because I see that you worry a lot. Take some time out for yourself and relax, okay? And... While many of you might be feeling a bit insecure right now, push through it. Push through any insecurities that you are feeling here, all right? And it's very important for you to do that. But you have to kind of take your hands out the situation because God is steering your path here. Release control, ladies and gentlemen. Surrender your need to control the situation, okay? And... What needs to be revealed or certainly is going to be revealed or maybe you might need to reveal what needs to be seen in a situation that you have yet to do, okay? And to try to, you know, take inspired action in your situation. Talk less, ladies and gentlemen, and feel more. And make sure that you're clearing your mind and stop being so stubborn and rigid and try to make some effort to lighten up a bit. Okay? And continue to keep your heart open. That's very important. All right? So let's go on and just pull out another deck here just to give you some additional information to us, into your information. And then we're going to go on and pull some letters here to see who these people are who are coming around you. Particularly from this time period. I mean, from now until the end of the month, we already realize that an X is coming to you. But let's just see who's going to be in your energy field. But before doing that, let's get some more messages out. So what are some things that, additional things that Capricorn might consider in, as they uh, attempt to strive for inner peace? Okay. Understand that you certainly create your own reality. And what you want, wants you too, ladies and gentlemen. So, what do you want to experience here? Which is what that card is saying here. All right? And you can certainly radically change your results by just shifting your beliefs a bit. Ask yourself, what belief is limiting you? Okay? And understand that everything certainly is a reflection. Hold up the energetic mirror. What do you need in your life, ladies and gentlemen, that you, you are not currently getting? And understand that nothing real can be threatened. Ask yourself, how can you actively participate in creating heaven on earth? All right. So let's go on and just pull these letters as I indicated that I would do for you guys. I want to take 20 letters out of this bag of 200 to kind of help you identify the people who are coming into your energy field from now until the end of this month here. Okay. We have a D, an E, 
a T, a T, a G, another G, okay, we have a T, a P, an R, an O, an X, an M, a U, okay, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 7 more letters, J an E a U an A a G as well as a T. Okay, now I'm gonna call them back to you just to make sure that you all have these letters, okay? We have an X. There are two U's, okay? An R. There are four T's, a D, a P, an O, three G's, two E's, two A's, a J, as well as an M. Okay? So now, what I like to do is go on and just take out my letting go cards here and things that you might want to consider. Surrendering, ladies and gentlemen, as you move forward here, particularly with this mark here. So what are some things that Capricorn might want to consider surrendering as they move forward with these remaining days here in this month here? Surrender comparison, Capricorn, with other people. Try to keep your eyes trained on yourself and really focus on your own strength, your own attractiveness as well as your own power, okay? Surrender stress. Try to take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension that you've really been building up in your body and let the stress go as you come back, ladies and gentlemen, to your spiritual center, all right? And last but not least, which is most important, surrender to divine timing. Because sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. And if a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust in the universal flow of life. Okay? So in conclusion here, along just as I did with your last reading here, I like to go on and just read you an invocative message that spirit would like to deliver to you. Okay? So, Spirit, what message would you like to me to deliver to my Capricorns here? Okay? And as you know here, I have a postcard, and I'm going to read it now. Okay. Dearest you, there are times when less or when loss is part of life. Sometimes a loss is welcome, like when you leave a situation not in alignment with your highest good. And sometimes a loss is sudden and painful, like when a loved one crosses over to our dimension. Regardless of the nature of the loss and your control over it, your experience is asking to be acknowledged. Tears are necessary as it's grief. When you repress the natural expression of loss and try to move on too quickly, the unpressed pain haunts you in destructive ways. We don't want that for you. Instead, let your heart break open wide. Feel the loss and integrate it. See the beauty that was the lessons learned and know that as you let go of what has passed, ever more of you remains. It gets better, we promise. Your heart expands with more compassion for the world than ever before. Love heals all. We are loving you, sending you love always and forever. So Capricorn, this is what I have for you. I certainly hope that this reading has offered food for thought. Be sure to like and share. 
if you'd like a more personal reading, please contact me at will.brown at wtconsultinginc.net. Enjoy your evening. Thanks a lot.